new fallout for President Trump over a whistleblower complaint about his contact with a Ukrainian leader. Former Vice President Joe Biden is now firing back at the president after Mr. Trump reportedly pressed the Ukrainian president to investigate Biden's son. Paula Reed is at the White House. Paula, what can you tell us? Good morning, Michelle. The former vice president is demanding the White House release any transcripts of calls with the Ukraine. Now, last night, President Trump and the First Lady hosted a state dinner for the Prime Minister of Australia. But all the pomp and pageantry could not distract from the controversy surrounding the White House this week. The show went on at the White House Friday night as President Trump and the First Lady hosted the Australian Prime Minister and his wife for a state dinner. Yeah, what about your CNN interview? <laughs> Meanwhile, the president's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, laughed off questions about his contentious interview with CNN, where he admitted to pressuring the Ukrainian government to look into the Biden family. Well, you did ask Ukraine to look into Joe Biden. Of course I did. CBS News has learned the president's outreach to Ukraine is at the center of a whistleblower complaint filed by a former intelligence official. The specific details of the complaint are not known, as the Justice Department and the White House have blocked it from being handed over to Congress, arguing the president is outside the scope of the intelligence community's inspector general. Ridiculous story. It's a partisan whistleblower. Sitting alongside the Australian prime minister earlier in the day, President Trump defended his dealings with world leaders. I've had conversations with many leaders that are always appropriate. I think Scott can tell you that. Always appropriate, at the highest level, always appropriate. And anything I do, I fight for this country. I fight so strongly for this country. Uh, it's just another uh, political hack job. That's all it is. At the center of the whistleblower's complaint is reportedly a phone call the president had with the Ukrainian leader on July 25th. The Ukrainian government says they discussed completing investigation of corruption cases. According to the Wall Street Journal, Mr. Trump pressured the Ukrainian president eight times to investigate former Vice President Joe Biden's son, Hunter, who worked for a Ukrainian gas company during the Obama administration. Not one single credible outlet has given any credibility to his assertion. Not one single one. While campaigning in Iowa, Biden first dismissed any wrongdoing. And so I have no comment except the president should start to uh, be president. But he later fired back, writing in a statement, such clear-cut corruption damages and diminishes our government by making them tools of a personal political vendetta. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says this whistleblower's complaint raises urgent national security concerns. Democrats are also investigating if the president tried to withhold military aid from the Ukraine in an effort to pressure it to investigate the Bidens. But so far, there is no evidence proving that's what happened. Jeff. Okay, Paula, thank you very much.